This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're gonna to take a look at Solendra. But before that, this video is brought to you by Doughboy2913 and Talger. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Solendra map can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you a little bit of the description. Welcome to Solendra. The Solendra map is modeled after the Balkan terrain. So that is gonna be the Southeastern European areas. The main part of the map is a forest that has very inaccessible terrain. Start your career and discover the numerous challenges that await you. On this map, you'll find extremely small fields and things like varied terrain, added trees and foliage textures, new ground paint textures, five playable farms, varied lighting, 32 fields, gas stations, the ability to fill water from a pond. We have an animal dealer, collectibles, sawmill, points of sale for bales, products, and grain milk, seasonal objects, and a very detailed forest with a very challenging terrain. I think the map author is rather special on that one because it's mentioned twice. Now this map does have some required mods. So if you do download this map from the Giants website, be sure to also download the required mods. They are the Barn with Cow Shed, the Bavarian Farm Pack, the Homestead Pig Barn, the Log Cabin Farmhouse, as well as the Polish house and of course the map itself. In addition to those required mods, we are gonna use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps, that is additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. Now we're loading the map up in new farmer mode as we typically do, but if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, you will find the main starting farm is empty of buildings, but we do start out with our starting machinery in all play modes. In addition, the other possible player farms on the map are all pre-built in all play modes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And this is what I like to refer to as a micro map. This is an extremely, extremely small map. In fact, we basically have kind of in this area here that I'm outlining, what would be the standard size PDA. And now we have the actual map, which is located right here, which is much, much smaller than that. Now we do have all of the standard crop types available to us in Farm Sim 22 on this particular map. And if we take a look at our lands area, you'll see that we start out by owning the main starting farm, which is gonna be Farmland 16. Farmland 16 is, guess what? 0.16 acres in size. It is a purchasable for 7,300, or sorry, $7,632. In addition, we own field or farmland 17, which is 0 0.07 hectares or 0.23 acres in size. It can be bought for $5,472. In addition to those starting areas, we also have a farm here at Farmland six, or sorry, eighteen, for thirty-six thousand dollars. A farm at Farmland ID number two, which is 0.79 acres in size, at Farm ID, or yeah, Farmland ID forty-seven, one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. This is a rather large parcel at one point four eight acres in size. Then also at Farm ID. 24, which is 0.63 acres in size, and it's $30,383. Now let's take a look at our other viable farm lands using the farmland at least screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are in hectares, if those farmlands include any fields, and then how much those farmlands are going to cost us. As we can see, all of these are extremely, extremely small farmlands. In fact, the largest farmland is going to be right here at 0.65 hectares in size, farmland 49. Take a look at our field calculator screen. This is going to show us all of the viable fields and how large those specific fields are. And we can also go back and then cross-reference 
the field number with the farmland ID number to get a sense of how expensive the, it's going to be to buy that field. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how the precision farming soil map is getting applied to this map. We have the generic soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod on this particular map. And you can see that basically most of the fields are going to be sandy loam or loamy sand. Take a look at our crop counter. We do have a standard base game crop counter available to us on this map. Looking at our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are available in a farm sim 22. We also have the ability to sell all of our animal outputs in eggs, wool, and milk. Wood chips, silage, hay, straw, and grass can also be sold. And then as we kind of look down through all of the base game productions, we do have the ability to sell all of our base game productions also on this particular small micro map. And then we also have a bulk line by point. We have a stone crusher. And for the very, very first time since the Platinum expansion has released, we have the ability built into the map to sell all of the Platinum expansion production items. Congratulations. This map is the first map that I have seen, again, since the Platinum expansion is released, to include the ability to sell all of these items. In fact, we also have the ability, if you are using pumps and hoses on this map, don't really know why, but at any rate, if you are using pumps and hoses on this map, you do also have the ability to sell your separated manure. If we take a look at our vehicle overview, we do have a small list of starting machinery all of it is brand new. None of it is leased and it has no operating hours. We do have some animal areas on this map, but we do not have any starting animals. We do have contracts available on this map, a whopping 50 bucks to fertilize field number four. I think you probably just put the, the, the fertilizer spreader right beside the field. You hit start and then you're done. We do not own any production chains at the start and we do have 12 slices of cheese as far as the collectibles on the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Bureau 6105 small tractor. We have the Nova 330 harvester that is paired up with the PowerStream 500 header. We have the Welger DK 115 trailer, the Pottinger Servo 25 plow, the Rave EG39 cultivator, and the Nordstein HK NS3030 Cedar and Power Arrow. Take a look at our mods and DLCs. You'll see that there are no custom vehicles or implements that are a part of this particular map. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of walk down the street to our starting farm because it is literally just down the street here. And a starting farm, that's a little bit of a stretch. It's more of a farmhouse a shed, and a fenced-in area. Now, of that area, you can indeed clear and customize all of the starting farm here. You're basically looking at it. We do have some beehives. I, I think I would have rotated those the other way so the bees were flying uh, away from the house, but okay. So we have our beehives, we have our honey spawn point. We have our farmhouse with sleep trigger. And then we have our shed for our machinery. And that is starting farm. In fact, we have to park our harvester up here by our starting field because we don't really have any space for it in the farmyard. Let's go ahead and take a look at our build mode. So we do have some required mods, so we will have some various items that we can place down here. We have the Bavarian Farm Pack, which has several buildings. The Bavarian Farm Pack also includes several aspects of the silos, silos extensions, containers. And then we have the various farmhouses that are listed as required mods. There are no custom productions on the map. No custom placeables, greenhouses, orchards, or generators. We do have some custom animal areas that are, again, part of the required mods 
that are available here on the map. And let's go ahead and take a look at our landscaping because the map author did mention some custom ground textures, which we do have here. Hopefully we have enough room to show those all off. We might have to use up some of our field here. So we have our animal mud. Oh. Animal mud. Another form of animal mud. Asphalt. Another form of asphalt. Another form of asphalt, which looks an awful lot like rock. Concrete. Dirt. Forest ground. Grass. Another form of grass. Third form of grass. Gravel. Gravel again. A third form of gravel. And then just a plethora of gravel options. And there we go with all of those. For the standard farm sim, 22 trees and fairly standard plants. Now, we'll go just across the street here real quick because one of the other player farms is right here. And a little interesting factoid with this map is I can sell all of the buildings on all of the player farms without owning any of the land. I can also then use all of the buildings at all the player farms again without owning any of the land, which is rather interesting. So all the player farms do have a sleep trigger, as best as I can remember. We have then a pigsty. This will hold 10 pigs. And we have our food trough and our water bucket right there for our pigs. We've got our shed, we've got our beehives. We have another honey spawn point. Thought we only needed one on a map, so I'm a little confused as to maybe where our honey is gonna end up spawning at, but at any rate. And then our farmhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for the fly around. We're gonna fly around the map and then we will kind of wrap this whole video up. Don't think we really need to do too much of a drive around on this map because it's so small. Now, typically, I would go and make the PDA large to make it easier to know where we are going. But in this case, I think the PDA becomes way too small at that point. So we're just going to go with the square version. And we've got our starting farm located right below. We have the pig farm located kind of catty cornered from the starting farm. And then right here, we have our career start point. This is where we started out at. Then we have a cell point located right here. This map includes two built-in productions. And the first one we're gonna take a look at here is the spinnery. So this is where we have our spinnery. We have our interactive icon. We have a dump point for our cotton or wool. Then we have the pallet spawn point right there. Over here we have the large cow farm. This is going to be associated with again farmland ID 47. Right here. And this farmyard actually has a little bit of space to it. So we have our silo. We have our fill pipe. We have our dump point. We have our farmhouse. We have a cow pasture. Here, a cow barn. 20 cows in this facility. 
Now the door opens extremely, extremely slow. So when you hit it, just be a little patient. Inside here we have our dump point for our straw and our food. Remember I said the door opens extremely slow. There we go. We also around the back have a chicken area for 30 chickens. And we have our food trough and our egg spawn point there. We have our milk trigger. I think I'm just going to ignore the static animals inside. From the back we have our silage bunker for our cows. And that is pretty much the cow farm. We have a slurry point there on the side. We do also have then our manure heap located right there. We have a saw point for bales. We have our sawmill. So we have our wood dump point. We have our wood cell trigger. We have our interactive icon for our sawmill. We have our pallet spawn point, and then we have our wood chip point. So those are the two production items built into the map. So we are going to give the map a full point. This is a micro map. I would not expect more than just a handful of production items on this particular map anyway, given its size. So we are going to give the map a full point there. With respect to building textures, I'm just going to go ahead and lay on into this one. This map has textures that just run the gamut from ultra low res like it looks good from a thousand yards away but when you get anywhere as up close to it you're like oh wow yeah yeah two modern farm sim 22 textures and sometimes they are literally right beside each other so here we have a farm sim 22 building Very, very nice. Right next to this thing. Which doesn't look too far from back here. But, um... But, yeah. Yeah. I uh, would not... Would not venture too close. Just would not venture too close. So we are going to give the map just a quarter of a point. With respect to buildings using the latest texturing technique. And our ground textures. We do have ground textures that we can paint down that are using the new technique. The general ground textures on the map itself look absolutely outstanding. And then we have something like this right beside it. As I said, there are 12 slices of cheese on the map. I'll let you figure out where the others are. With respect to the farms being customizable, we've already talked to this point that we can customize all of the player farms. In fact, as I said, we can actually sell all the player farms without actually owning any of the land, which is rather interesting. So if I wanted to, I could come in here right now and just, well, demolish things however I saw fit, right? So up here in the northeast corner of the map, northwest corner of the map, Farm ID 2, we have a sheep farm. We'll hold 15 sheep in this farm. We have our food trough. We have our water trough. We have a wool spawn point. We have two little sheds. And then we have our farmhouse. Once again, with a sleep trigger. Real quick, we are back at our starting farm area. Just to the east of the starting farm area, we have a couple cell points. We have a Zito product cell point, which is located right here. And then if we make our way around the road, we're gonna come into this construction site where we have a stone crusher and then this is going to be a cell point specifically for planks. We 
We have our fuel point. Let's go back here. This is our starting point once again. Then we'll make our way around to our vehicle shop. Located right here. We will go ahead and get the Mahindra just to see where things spawn in at. So we have a rather small area for our vehicles to spawn in. Again, this is what I classify as a micro map. You're not going to need a whole lot of machinery. And the machinery you do have, you're going to want it to be really, really small. Otherwise, you're just going to wham bam. Thank you. We're done doing our farming. And we can move on. I just couldn't help myself. I got a little hungry. Now, right next to the shop, we have our workshop trigger, our dealer trigger. And the dealer trigger is not clearly indicated. In fact, there are a couple areas on the map that are not clearly indicated. But the trigger is actually here on the ramp, as well as right in front of this little shed. And then we have our activation point right there. Here we have our fifth possible player farm area. And this is what I would classify as the arable farm because there are no animal areas here. We have a couple sheds. We have our log cabin farmhouse. And then inside we have our nice stove. And I think we have a sleep trigger in here somewhere. Oh yes. Maybe this we actually have to own before it works. Then right across the road from that, we basically have our animal dealer located right there. So while we are here, let's just kind of stroll down the long leg of the southern part of the map. This is where we have our difficult terrain forest. And we'll just kind of sum up everything as we experience the terrain here a little bit. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to having production built in. We have a spinnery and a sawmill on the small micro map. We are going to give the map a full point also for having the ability to sell all of the crops that we can grow, all of the production items that we could possibly produce on the map, as well as this being the first map where we can actually produce and sell platinum expansion stuff without having to put down the Silver Run Forest platinum expansion sell point. The farms can be customized completely on this map, all five of them. Buildings where appropriate are, for the most part, not using the new texturing technique. We do have some of that kind of intermixed in around the buildings but a lot of the buildings are using extremely low res and old textures. And then as far as player interactive areas being clearly marked, we're gonna give the map a half a point there. Some of them are, some of them are not. I would like to go ahead and see a little bit more consistency with respect to that. So that's gonna give this map a total score of 3.75 out of five. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below specific to this map how we scored the map and what are your thoughts in general on these little micro maps and until next time happy farming